Hello students, in this session we will be covering your anatomy competency that is anatomical basis of complications of femoral neck. We will be specifically discussing the clinical scenarios that are linked with this competency. So in orthopedics we deal with fractures and in fractures of femoral neck you can see there is disruption of the continuity of the femoral neck. Here you can see this is the part of femoral neck that is in line with the proximal fragment and this is the part of femoral neck that is line with the distal fragment and there is complete breach in the continuity of this bone you can see the breaches here as well as here and on this side you can see there is some disruption in the contour of the femoral head normally the femoral head is round in shape here you can see it is round completely round however here you can see it is irregular in shape it is not round also you can see there is some irregularity in the density of the bone in the femoral head here you can see there are lytic areas and there are sclerosis area we will be dis uh, discussing briefly about these things in our later slides so macroscopically if we see the femoral neck this is how the femoral neck looks like this is the femoral head and this is a part of femoral neck you can see superior part, this is inferior part and this is the part of the greater trochanter. So the neck lies between the trochantic area and the femoral head. And this is the bony outline of the femoral neck. This is the femoral neck, again femoral head and these are contributing to the hip joint via articulation with the acetabulum. So this is the acetabulum, this is the femoral head, this is the femoral neck and this is the trochantic area this is lesser trochanter and this is part of proximal femoral diaphysis and metaphysis if we convert these images into radiographs which are mostly ordered in as an orthopedic investigation of choice during initial presentation this is the outline of the radiograph here you can see the acetabular lining this is the articular lining of the acetabulum and this is the articular lining of the femoral head and this is the femoral neck and this is the trochanteric area which is formed by the greater trochanter proximally and the lesser trochanter distally the important part of the femoral neck is the circulation that it carries to the femoral head here you can see that the femoral artery has branches of lateral circumflex femoral artery and medial circumflex femoral artery. The lateral circumflex femoral artery mainly gives anterior branches to form the capsular ring of vessels at the basi cervical region of the femoral neck, that is the base part of the femoral neck. And similarly, the medial circumflex artery gives posterior branches which join with the anterior branches to form a ring around the femoral neck and this ring further gives multiple small vessels along the contour of the femoral neck which goes inside the femoral head and gives the nutrition to it there's a small contribution through the ligamentum teres also which is clinically irrelevant in an adult patient so coming to the clinical cases here in this first picture you can again see the femoral neck fracture so in fracture the radiograph shows the breach in the continuity of the bone so this is a femoral neck fracture in which there is breach in the continuity of the bone at the level of femoral neck and this radiograph is ap radiograph that means anteroposterior radiograph in anteroposterior radiograph the radiographic waves which are x-rays they move from anterior to posterior direction and this is lateral radiograph in lateral radiographs the x-ray waves travel from either superior to inferior direction or inferior to superior direction in relation to the proximal femur need to go into detail of it you will be learning these things later in your sessions this much is sufficient that you need an ap radiograph and a lateral radiograph to comment on the fracture orientation so we can say in AP radiograph it is a displaced fracture and in lateral radiograph it is not much displaced but overall impression is that it is a displaced fracture because if it is displaced in one view that means it is displaced. 
so this is a neck femur fracture in a 16 year old female the patient was presented to us after two days and what we do we have to do close reduction and internal fixation close reduction means we don't open the fracture we reduce it by indirect maneuvers that is traction traction means we have to pull the distal fragment so that the muscles and soft tissue attachments they become tensed and once they become tensed they automatically realign the fracture fragments in an anatomical orient orientation or near anatomical orientation which we usually accept so what happened in this case we reduce the fracture here you can see it is reduced and we fix the fracture with internal fixation through screws so the fracture healed but what went wrong after two years we can see the round contour which was visible at the earlier follow-up has lost you can see it has now become flattened so what what was the problem the problem here is the vascular supply so as i earlier mentioned it was a two days old injury so what happened in two days the fracture was re remaining displaced throughout this duration and when the fracture was displaced automatically the vessels in this part and this in this part they were either stretched or they were kinked both ways it is going to compromise the circulation of the femoral head that we had discussed in the prior slides see suppose if the fracture is in this part in this part so automatically the vessels are going to get injured and if the displacement is remaining there for a prolonged duration that means there are less chances of circulation to reg regain so automatically the compromise is there in the circulation of the femoral head and which leads to necrosis of dead bone and once the bone gets necrosed it collapses and here you can see it has collapsed so this is the sequelae which is called avascular necrosis of the femoral head so that means even if you are reducing the femoral head perfectly the outcome cannot be guaranteed the outcome can be superior at initial presentation but can become inferior with later follow-up because the amount of damage done to the vascularity of the femoral head due to the trauma and delayed presentation so um, this is the important point that in neck femur fractures the vascularity can get compromised which can result in the avascular necrosis of the femoral head avascular necrosis means there is lack of vascularity resulting in the necrosis another case here you can see this is a 70 year old female and this is the radiograph showing pelvis with bilateral hip joints here and here along with the bilateral proximal femur here you can again see there is femoral neck fracture but here the patient was presented to us on the same day and she was operated within two days but the surgical plan was different why because you see this is an older patient 70 year old here the issue is that the bone quality is poor and that kind of bone quality cannot handle the internal fixation and the outcome will be either loss of reduction even after fixation or could be early avascular necrosis because the bone quality is poor and there are more chances of displacement then displacement will result in the stress on the vessels of the femoral head so that will result in avascular necrosis or sometimes because of lack of stability and loose fixation it can result into non-union of the femoral neck so to overcome such a situation we do replacement procedure here the replacement procedure has to be decided according to the anatomy of the acetabulum and femoral head the femoral head is definitely going to be replaced but acetabular replacement is decided by the patient age life expectancy and the activity style so if the patient is highly active then we have to do total hip replacement in total hip replacement we have to replace acetabulum as well as the femoral head in this case only femoral head is replaced the acetabular lining is intact we have not changed it why because she was a 70 year old female with low demand low functional demand and the life expectancy was around 10 years approximately it could have been more 
but the average is around 75 though we can expect at a maximum of 10 year life expectancy so in this case we had excised the femoral neck and replaced it with a femoral head processes so this procedure will be called hemiarthroplasty that that means we are replacing one part of the hip joint that is proximal femur this patient remained uh, asymptomatic during the follow up and okay. i would like to stress that in older age the quality of the bone governs the kind of treatment we have to give if the quality is very good then we can go for internal fixation like in the case we have done prior and if the quality is poor then we have to go for replacement procedure and this is the picture that i had shown you earlier this is actually a healed femoral neck fracture but has resulted into avascular necrosis again there are similar signs like the prior case in which there was flattening of this part and these parts the lucency that is dark that they are darker in color they are actually cyst cyst like lesions which are signs of necrosis of this part of the bone and this part which is appearing more white this is actually sclerosis the sclerosis also signifies dead bone so dead bone appears more white and the darker part signifies lysis means there is some lytic lesion over there lytic lesion because there is ongoing necrosis necrosis in necrosis we have some areas of hemorrhage which result in formation of lytic lesions and then we have some areas of dead bone which are appearing white so that is a sclerosis sclerosis means white and lytic lesions appears darker so we operated this patient you can see this is the femoral head this hole is the femoral head but the surface bone it is completely disrupted from the inner bone this is the surface bone of the femoral head and this is the inner bone you can see there is a cyst also this is empty the cavity is totally empty so this kind of head is femoral head is incompatible with the range of motion of hip joint because acetabulum is round and for anything to move inside acetabulum the that needs to be congruent that means similar to the shape of acetabulum that means round it should be spherical so the femoral head needs to be spherical to help in a uniform motion of the hip joint an irregular femoral head will result in hampered motion of the hip joint so what we did we replaced the femoral head but this patient was a young patient the patient was 20 year old 20 year old so we had to see his active lifestyle also so the problem with only femoral head replacement is that the patient is going to have arthritis of the acetabulum also because of the constant activity of the femoral head inside the hip joint this femoral head is going to erode the acetabulum within few years because of the active lifestyle of the patient so we had to replace the acetabulum also so that a friction free motion of the hip joint is obtained after replacing both the components in this post operative radiograph you can see we have placed an acetabular shell which is fixed to the superior bone through screws and which is articulating with the femoral head that we have replaced so this is procedure which is known as total hip replacement in total hip replacement we replace both acetabulum as well as proximal part of the femur and this procedure is done in those patients in which we are expecting a longer life expectancy those who are active and in younger patients another important complication of femoral neck fracture is non union of femoral neck here in the radiograph ap radiograph you can see the femoral head was visible definitely visible even the acetabular lining is visible however you can see the femoral neck is completely absent we can see the trochanteric part but there is no femoral what neck. has happened why the femoral neck is not visible so let me tell you something about the history of this patient the patient is a neglected case of femoral neck fracture that was not treated for past 6 months she had presented to us at an at a duration of 6 months post injury so the femoral neck as told by your anatomy instructors is an intra articular structure 
it is surrounded by the capsule which attaches in the basal part of the femoral neck and remaining part of the femoral neck it lies within the joint so if there is a fracture that means the fracture is in direct continuity with the synovial fluid the synovial fluid disrupts the callus formation or clot formation not callus it's clot the clot actually organizes later to form callus so callus formation can't happen inside femoral neck because of the continuity with the synovium synovium prevents callus formation as well as clot formation second thing the cambium layer of the periosteum it is not there with the femoral neck being an intraarticular bone the cambium layer is not there the cambium layer is important for the callus formation so the clot formation is not happening and the cambium layer is not helping in the callus formation so these two factors contribute to the non continuity of the bone even if it is kept in position when the patient is taking rest so we need an anatomical reduction that means we need to realign the fracture fragments so that there is completely continuous continuous bone which is not in continuity with the synovial fluid so here what happened because of the disruption of the clot formation the fracture didn't heal and the fracture that doesn't heal it starts resorbing that means the fracture ends they gradually resorb so in this case also the proximal part of the femoral neck fracture and the distal part of the femoral neck fracture they have been resorbed that's why they are completely absent in this radiograph the 6 months duration is a long enough duration that can have large amount of resorption that's why we are having a more or less complete disruption of the femoral neck again as we can see the astoral lining is intact so and the patient was an old patient around 70 year old we planned hemiarthroplasty procedure in which we replaced the femoral head part here you can see the immediate post operative radiograph the astoral lining is clearly visible and the head part has been replaced with the processes we will be having a detailed session of all these processes and fixation techniques whenever you are in your later phases for the beginning part just remember that we have replaced the proximal part of femur that is the head part which is articulating with the original acetabulum and this is a hemiarthroplasty procedure i think that completes the main complications related to femoral neck fractures that is avascular necrosis and non union and you are now aware of the basic treatment plan of the femoral neck fractures in short in young patient we have to plan fixation of the femoral neck fractures and in older patients we have to resort to arthroplasty measures which can be hemiarthroplasty if we are replacing only the femoral head part that is this part and it could be total hip arthroplasty when we are replacing both femoral head part this part as well as the acetabular part and total hip arthroplasty is performed the life expectancy is more and the patient is an active one and hemiarthroplasty is performed when the patient is a moribund patient or having low life expectancy and low functional demand and other complication is avascular necrosis which we have already highlighted so just remember two main complications femoral neck fractures can have either could be non union or could be avascular necrosis the reason for first is the vascularity that's for avascular necrosis is it's the compromised vascularity and for the second one that is non union it is because the peculiar anatomy of the femoral neck which lies within the hip joint or hip joint capsule and is in direct the fracture is in direct continuity with the synovial fluid that prevents the healing of the fracture and the treatment option for younger patients is anatomical reduction and internal fixation thank you